We did the scene where we were bursting in and being all badass and we came around the corner and we were running and I was in these stiletto Michael Kors booties and I round the corner and it just goes out from under me and I just slip and fall right <laughs> on my butt in the middle of the scene. Everybody's all badass and there's just me on the floor. What's up you guys? Welcome back to Clever. I'm Jocelyn Davis hanging out with Kat McNamara and I have a fun little surprise for you. Okay. Um, I love playing games. I know you like playing games me too. too. So I created a little game called Truth or Sing. Oh dear. How do you feel about it? All right. Okay, so these are some fun, silly questions inside uh -huh. this cup. You can choose to answer the question or sing a song from one of the artists on the paper. Okay. Okay, and, and actually, you're like a really good singer, so this <laughs> is actually just my opportunity to like listen to your sweet voice. Oh, thanks. Okay, are you ready? Go I'm for ready. it. I'm ready, okay. Ooh, which cast member would you not let babysit your dog or cat? My dog actually came to set for a really? few weeks. Really? Yeah. Okay. She came to visit. So everybody kind of helped take care of her while she was there. When, when we were all shooting, you know, one person would always be back taking care of the dog. I think the one person I would not let take care of my dog would be Matthew Daddario. Not because he wouldn't take amazing care of her, because he loves Sophie so much, but because he might steal her from me, and I'd really <laughs> like to take her home at the end of the day. <laughs> Truth or sing? Who laughs or breaks the most during serious scenes? Um, during serious scenes, we're actually all pretty focused because we're really respectful of, of the emotional places that we all have to be because there's a lot of that on the show. But the problem is when we're doing scenes that aren't as intense, um, one of us will inevitably break or make a joke that will just hit the other person <laughs> in, in a way where we just can't stop thinking about it. And then once one of us goes, all of us go. Done. And then we, it just, it's over. And we have to take a minute to regroup. <laughs> who's the funniest? Like, who's the biggest prankster or jokester on the couch? Oh, the biggest prankster is Dom. Hands For down. For sure. For sure, hands down. He's pranked all of us. Like what? What has he done? Uh, he taped me to my trailer once. That I'm was really sorry. interesting. He taped you to your trailer? Using yeah. what? Duct tape. No. Yeah. <gasps> what? <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? Um, yeah. He got one hand taped and I was laughing too hard to really figure out what was going on. <laughs> and then by that time I was stuck. So he taped my other hand, taped my legs together, and walked away. And taped you to your trailer. Mm -hmm. Please tell me there's photos of this. Oh, there's plenty. Oh, there's plenty of photos and video. Gosh. Because when everybody heard me laughing, they came running not with scissors but with cameras. <laughs> so, because that's the kind of family that we are. We revel in each other's, you know, humiliation, and it's great. So, but I wouldn't have it any other way. That, so have you planned a way to get back at him yet? I'm not sneaky. You might need like three or four people it. to like hold him down if you want to take Probably. Him I should just sick Isaiah on it because he's the only one who can prank any of us. What is the most embarrassing moment from shooting Shadowhunters? Something you'd die if people found out. I, I did a lot of running in heels on the set of Shadowhunters and there was one scene in particular in episode two where the, the nightclub that we shot in for Pandemonium was this really long, narrow nightclub and the floors were very slick during the day. So we, we did the scene where we were bursting in and being all badass and we came around the corner and we were running and I was in these stiletto Michael Kors booties and I round the corner and it just goes out from under me and I just slip and fall right <laughs> on my butt in the middle of the scene. Everybody's all badass and there's just me on the floor <laughs> laughing because I've just fallen down. What's the craziest rumor you've ever heard about yourself? It wasn't really a rumor, it was, um, I'd done an interview over the phone and uh -huh. it must have, like the phone must have cracked up or something oh, because gosh. I used to be a softball player. And really? I had said that, yeah, I used to be a softball pitcher and I had said that in the interview, but the interview said that I used to play basketball and <laughs> I'm, I'm very short and so I wear heels all the time and I'm the worst basketball player in the history of time. <laughs> so your family just, had like a good laugh. It was a really good one. laugh, yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's so funny. <laughs> okay, well I think we only have two more. So Let's we do just it. like get all of them. Let's make it happen. You haven't sang yet. No, but they're such good questions, I want to answer them. What is your first kissing scene like and how did you prepare? The first kissing scene I ever did on camera was in New Year's Eve. Um, I had a little tiny part in New Year's Eve and Who'd you kiss in that I movie? kissed Jake T. Austin. That's right. Yeah. Oh my so gosh. So I, um, I was doing this scene where I was initially supposed to be a friend and then they wanted me to be just a random girl in the crowd that I stole Abigail Breslin's kiss from Jake T. Austin. And they shot Abigail's side first. And I was, you know, Jake and I had to stand there for eyeline. And I, I sat there and watched her devastated reaction. And then I was like, well, I don't, I don't want to do this now. 
I, I feel too bad. Abby's my friend. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> but um, we we ended up doing it, and it, of course, and it was fine. And it, you know, first kisses on set are your first on-screen kiss is always very strange because it becomes this technical thing where you have to find the light and not hit your head on things. Like and whose face is going whose face which is going way. which way, and it, you know, it becomes very technical, but. I always end up being the girl that kisses someone in whatever project I do, so I'm, I'm used to it by now. Good for you. Good yeah. for you. Okay, this is the last one. All right. Killing it. The grand finale. Which cast member's face would you want to get ruined or tattoo of on your body? Emerald is one of the most gorgeous individuals that I've ever met in my life, so if I had to get somebody tattooed on myself, I, I would choose Emerald's face. Not a bad pick at all. Not a bad all. pick at all. Good job. Thank I mean, you. you didn't have to sing at all. This no, is, they were great questions. This is a first on Clever. Awesome. You're just making moves, girl. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. And you guys out there, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to tune in to Shadowhunters on Freeform, previously known as ABC Family, every Tuesday, 9 p.m., right after PLL. You yes. can like make a whole night of it it's with true. all of your girlfriends. Night boyfriends. of suspense and drama. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Lots of drama, which we love. And um, come back to Clever because we'll have all the details on all things Freeform. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. And if you guys love Kat McNamara and want to see our interview all about season one of Shadowhunters, click that box over on the left or click to the right to see some of our favorite Pretty Little Liars theories. There are so many.